Welcome to this video about Grub. People keep making suggestions, which is, which is good. We want and we like to improve Arco Linux over the future. But one of the things I'll never put in is a Grub image or a picture or anything like that. The thing we're now going to do may look uh, harmless and may look easy, but it might go wrong as well. Because Grub is important, Grub is the one that's going to tell boot up or don't boot up. So when do you do, do this project? Certainly if you're a beginner, then you say, okay, let's do this prior to a reinstallation. I'm going to reinstall anyway. If anything goes wrong, fine. And in the meantime, I've learned something. Option one or option two, as I'm filming here on the virtual box. Experiment all you want. You can always go back and, and reinstall or uh, it's just a virtual box. So let's boot. It's about this black image that we're talking. This, this is going to be and remain the black screen we're used to. But let's have some fun theming because Arco Linux is to learn, have fun and enjoy. So this is a have fun factor. So let's go and find out what this grub is about. We need to learn. If this is the first time you ever heard the words, then you need to learn. And we need to go to, yes, ArchWiki Grub. And I see I am at Bing. This time I'm going to kill it for real. I'm going to search. I'm going to say Bing. No, Google first. Set as default. Save. Bing. You're out. Minus. Delete. So that won't happen to me again. So Arch Wiki Grub. We have this Grub Arch Wiki, and then you start reading. It's a grand unified bootloader, and that's the fun about Arch Wiki. A lot of information, and it can really be, be well, daunting, but also interesting to learn. So in here, we need to find out if there is any information about Control F theme. I did type something wrong. No, it's OK. Theme. And there should be something in here, but I don't see it at this point in time. So let's see if we can find something else. Grub Arch Wiki. Grub. Oops. Installation. You're booting. I'm missing where it is. So Arch Wiki. Grub theme. Let's add the word tips and tricks. Okay, that's it. Sorry, grips, tips and tricks. That's where you need to be. And then it says here theme. This is what you want to know. And let's add a little bit of technicality before we say it doesn't need to be technical. We can uh, we have a tool on Arco Linux. We can have a quick look, quick look. Grab, grab customizer. Great tool. It'll help us do everything later. But in boot, in grub, in themes, here is what you can in, install or run right now. There is already a standard Starfield theme we can try out. Yeah? So that's it. And in here is the grub configuration file. Now opening this, you say it's broken. Now it's not broken. You need to be red X, you need to be root. So open folder as root. And then open it. Then it says, of course, do not edit this file. We will not edit it. Uh, an application will. But in here, you do Control F theme. OK, and then you say find. Nothing to find. So at this point in time, there is no theme set. There is no information about a theme. OK, now we want to learn, right? So what you do is you make a copy and you paste it. So this is, I'll put my own name behind it so I really know it's mine, Grub Eric. Okay, so that's the original one. We're gonna use an application and it's going to change. Let's get that out of the way. We don't need this one, we need the root one. We'll check in later, but here it says what's gonna happen more or less. So etc, default Grub is a, a place to be. Um, you need to reload the grub, to remake the grub, etc, etc. All complicated stuff. 
Well, what if I tell you you have an application on your system that is called Group Customizer. That you open up, go to the appearance settings, tell the theme to be star, a star field. You saw the folder there. Then you save it and then you wait for this thing here to stop and then you reboot. It's fixed now. All right. Now, before I reboot, we have here this new config file. I hope we have a new config file. And we're going to compare this one to this one. Right mouse click, compare, you know, melt, super thing. And indeed, a lot of things have changed. So this one is the new one that the application made. And this is the old one, the copy. So the main thing is that he changed a lot of information in here, the green stuff here is new and of course somewhere you need to tell to the system hey look use the theme set theme root boot grub theme starfield theme text and a lot of fonts you see so all this information is is gibberish for me but uh, grub customizer knows what it's doing well, let's have a look Now, the black screen you er, saw earlier on is going to be this one. So we have this information, a star field. Now, don't um, the image you see is now a very small one because we're on VirtualBox and he does not know the dimensions here. But if you're on SSD, you'll see it will fill up your entire screen. So this is the look you have. Fine. Other fonts you see, and then the normal fonts start, and we're back in. So we can have a file that's there already. We can activate it. We don't like it. Okay. So they will start looking for other uh, fonts. Oh, sorry, other uh, themes. So you say. How about looking for a, uh, I don't know, arch theme group. Then you look for images maybe. And then you say, hey, about how about this one? That's a nice one. How about that one? That's a nice one. And then you have to investigate. I say, okay, um, things might work, may not work. And there's also and I want to make you aware that you need to stop thinking in boxes. If you look here from ericdubois.be, there is this how to change your boot up screen with Grub Customizer on Arch Labs. Think away the labs, it's still Arch. Arch Labs uh, evolved into, well, part of the team evolved in Arch Merge. And then Arch Linux, it's still Arch, it's still Grub. So you just click on here and you see that it's the same information, another look and some tutorial here and another look. I mean, it's just um, my message is think out of the box. You can take a Manjaro Grub, you can take Linux Mint Grub. It's all the same. So how to change uh, Linux Mint here? Names, voila, that's more or less the same, but not, I think, a tutorial about the theming but about the, the priorities so what to boot first what to boot second for instance with dual boot put windows first okay that's also something to use it for so i don't know we take this one or we take another one we go visit a theme and say okay kind of like this it's minimalistic nice icons what if we try this one okay then we need to download it. It's down here. Download, grub. Okay, save, fine, save it. It's here, right mouse click. Show in file manager. Extract here. We have a file, a folder. And then his, this install thing. And this install thing says, let's make it bigger. It says a variable called root user ID is zero. And if the user ID equals zero, then he is root, do your stuff. Else, if it's not root, you say, please run the script with sudo. So sudo uh, 
point slash install notify send run as root, as root. <laughs> and this here is just copying over the theme and the theme is vimix okay vimix folder is going to be copied in boot grub themes but i can still copy paste what this is is changing the grub theme so the grub theme needs to go delete from etc default grub and replaced with the vimix theme we can do that as well so the idea does the idea of the script fine but this is what i need these are the things i want this is the background this is the rest of our theme and in here is all the properties take the background gpg with an e and take this as color uniform regular and so on so we can change this any way you see fit that's your theming that's your fun yeah okay so we need to get that in there where should we put this you take this folder copy do i have it open i guess not this can be closed so file system open a new tab so we have these two tabs next to each other and then we go to the boot to the grub and we have themes here but i can't paste in here so i go first as open folder as root and i am root this this yellow thing means i'm root i can close the other one because it's this one i need paste there it is so we have vimix next to starfield starfield was not that nice okay it's a good example but then vimix we go to our grub customizer and we open it up and we're gonna say grub keep in dock next time it's here or we put it on the top whatever we want and we say in appearance starfield is not our thing let's go for vimix or vimix i don't know save wait 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 okay done what happens if you are interested you just click on this one click on that one right mouse click compare that's for the guys who want to be technical this is new what does it say it say it says here take vimix uniform etc insert mod jpeg because it's it was actually a jpeg not a png and the theme is set here and export theme and all these kind of things okay so these green things are the ones you need to learn from now we need to boot how is this uh, restart how is this looking this Vimix and after that, that we'll do one more and it seems simple it seems okay but it might go wrong as well so it's up to you to decide whether you want this or not but here you have it it's quite nice we have now this very very small window but you check it out in SSD before you do a clean install that's an ideal project to do and uh, let's get our third look from the net somewhere so Vivaldi <coughs> okay and this was that one our steam grub so if we had this one we could take this one as a nice one could take this one maybe no that's not really that's a wallpaper we have this one from eric dubois i'm not gonna take that one i've seen that one enough so a lot of elements a lot of things you could try this is also a very clean and slick thing well let's take this one so we visit the website it says arch silence grub theme there are lots of grub themes 360 no i'm not going to install all of them you use your brains i give you some examples and you try it out so github repo external link means that here's the theme and inside in the theme is the arch logo png and we're off we feel that this theme folder need to go in our a grub there so download zip right mouse click show in file manager uh, arch silence that's, that's the one huh? yep extract here arch silence theme 
we need this one or we can check out the install sh if you want to learn something about scripting you can see what he's going to do with that script that's how you learn you know remove boot grub themes arch silence that's getting rid of it copy to her team boot group etc group make config so this is the technical thing that's happening behind grub make configuration minus o boot etc the guys that are in phase four making the arch no phase five huh? making the arch linux way of installation know this code remember so it's going to make a new grub configuration but with this grub customizer it will be done automatically so this folder let's check it out logo fonts and the theme text progress bar that's all i need so copy file system new tab boot grub themes right mouse click open as folder i'm root right mouse click paste don't need this one anymore we'll check out that later and we go to nope it was in my bar my plank that's the official name and there we go appearance theme wait for it theme save one two three four reboot quick look a quick glance a quick glance for the guys who want to be technical no need to do that but hey I want to make to promote melt compare so it says that there is a folder called theme theme texts other fonts more information that's quite technical fine it's set restart this is going to be our last example and then it's up to you if you get in, into trouble just do a reinstall um, that's the easiest way there are other ways of course but um, like I said it's just um, well to have fun and if it works it works then it's great and otherwise just reinstall so here it is another font you see afterwards but we can reboot nothing is broken and everything is fine and I hope you um, have learned something more uh, you decide if you want to have it or not it's up to you Maybe we should add also the idea. I've not really looked into that prior. So grub customizer, how to get rid of a theme is going to be somewhere here, I suppose. Theme, custom settings or clean, custom resolution, advanced settings. Like I said, I have not looked into it. How to reset everything actually to zero what's gonna happen if we do this we can always go and have a look if we go to file system boot grub themes not to themes eric here and then open folder as root so this one and that one uh, we can of course put back the the eric one i wonder what he'll do now oh yeah Okay, so it's not the proper. There are there are some lines. We did change something, so we changed these colors. So it's going to be menu color normal light blue because of these things here. So the best thing is probably to say, okay, let's get back to the original one. So this is the original one to the right, and this is just gibberish. In it, I mean by that that it's hashtagged out so it's not working at all so that's it files are identical so we have back our original file because of our backup now we're really sure that when we reboot and let's do this as a last thing when we log out restart then we have the proper version again of our grub the one we started with so this is my preference simple and clean black and white thing and everything is fine with it but if you want to have something more please be my guest that's why Arc Linux is there to learn have fun and enjoy cheers